All right, what's happening, everybody? How we doing today? I'm uh, gonna go over the Magento CMS, just a real overview of the entire CMS. If you're not familiar, Magento is the popular CMS for e-commerce. It was recently purchased by Adobe. Um, it's been around for a long time, but it does power some of the internet's biggest e-commerce platforms. So just going to Magento's website, um, it is open source. Oops, it is open source. However, you there is an enterprise version now that Adobe has purchased it. As you can see, Magento's commerce is going to be part of the Adobe experience, um, which is really powerful marketing web integration software. So Magento is now Adobe. Um, going into the Magento CMS, just to give you guys an overview of what Magento is, is as you can see here, we're just as we've logged in to the CMS, and I do see a notification here, I guess I can take care of that. But basically, we have our admin, we have any other notifications here. Again, I just installed this, so we'll have to take a look. Um, but basically, you can see as you log into your dashboard, what Magento is really known for is its e-commerce uh, capabilities. So as you can see here, it basically boom right away. All your revenue, if you have your taxes set up, your shipping, how much quantity and sales, um, all this information that's really important to the overall uh, commerce of your website. So this is your dashboard as you log in. Uh, you can definitely play around with some of that. But you'll also see on the sidebar here that you have all of the main uh, parts of your website. So your sales, which is going to deal with, again, orders, invoices, shipping, uh, really anything to do with the actual sale of the product, which is under the catalog. So you have your categories and your products, and those really break down from there. But this is just kind of an overview. Then obviously your customers, you'll have like your admins as well set up here, but all of your customer, your database information that you keep as far as um, names and emails and such. Uh, marketing we're not going to go into, but basically marketing has some benefits, especially now that they've integrated with Adobe. They have done more with that. Now content is more of the actual page and website of your uh, e-commerce store. So this will deal with the widgets, the themes, uh, things that are important to the actual website of your uh, e-commerce store. And that's, again, why Magento is so specialized, is that it actually focuses more on your sales and products than your website. But at the same time, it has all the options uh, that you need to make a strong website as well. Reports also gives a ton of different options here as far as different things you might want to pull for data um, when you're having e-commerce and sales. And then storage really breaks down all the different, I mean, even like multi-level uh, stores and such. And systems is probably the last part, which again, you can kind of import and export data more easily. So this is Magento, guys. Um, I do... Want, I do say get familiar if you do have an e-commerce store. If you need help, that's what we're here for. So reach out. We'd love to help you. Um, give a like. Give a subscribe. But also, if you want to, reach out because uh, Magento has a lot of awesome opportunities. And we'd love to help you learn more about them. Um, that's kind of an overview. What we're going to do from here is kind of break down all these categories and give an even deeper in insight of the Magento CMS. So... We'll catch you guys soon. Take care.